NBA 2K has been a successful basketball game for years, and I don't see it falling off in terms of popularity anytime soon. It's the best basketball game on the market right now, graphically and gameplay wise. Of course you are going to have people that say the game has fell off and it hasn't been what it was in the past, but those opinions still don't take away from the game's popularity and that it's still the best basketball game on the market. And on the other hand, MLB 2K is the opposite. It never garnered the same success as NBA 2K has, and MLB 2K was actually discontinued back in 2013. In a few seconds, I'll get into why MLB 2K hasn't been able to be as successful as NBA 2K. But before I start this video, I'd like to say very close friends of mine created an Instagram page to raise awareness about Alzheimer's disease. So if you are a person that is suffering from the disease or know someone that is, don't be afraid to follow their Instagram page Fight Against AD and to share yours or someone else's story. And if you are new to my channel and not subscribed, make sure to subscribe because I drop basketball videos and I cover different topics of the NBA and the MLB as well, even though this video is a little bit different from what I usually make. And don't forget to hit the notification button to get notified whenever I drop a video if you are subscribed already. Once again, it's 3rd IV195 coming at you with another video. Stay tuned. Sell it for free. Put no prices on that body. Sell it for free. Hey, sell it for free. Girl, you know that body prices sell it for free. In this video, we'll be looking at marketing, the games overall, and 2K's competition, including sales. I'll also be dealing with the years 2005 until 2013, and I actually won't be going beyond this time frame, because that's the time frame MLB 2K was born and died under 2K the company. So it wouldn't be fair to go beyond this time frame when comparing the two sports series against each other. You'll see why. Number one, history and marketing. So before we get into the marketing, I'm going to go into a little bit of history about 2k which will merge its way smoothly into the marketing you'll see there's a reason why i'm bringing it up 2K was founded on January the 24th back in 2005 after they purchased Visual Concepts, Kush Games, and the intellectual property of the 2K Sports game series as well. Sega used to release sporting titles under the name Sega Sports from 1999 until 2004 until 2K purchased everything from Sega for approximately 24 million US dollars. This is how 2K came into existence and 2K has been receiving commercial success since then and has been around for almost 14 years now there used to be baseball games that would release and on the cover it would say 2k for example world series baseball 2k2 and 2k3 and espn major league baseball 2k4 but it actually has nothing to do with the company 2k it was just to represent that the game came out in the 2000s this is the meaning of the k before the two as you can see on the screen and you can see on the covers it says sega on it as well this is when mlb 2k was born now under the company 2k and how ironic it was birthed the same year 2k was founded and the first installment we would get would be mlb 2k5 which was released on the xbox on february the 23rd back in 2005 and released five days later on the playstation 2 the cover athlete for mlb 2k5 was derek jeter who is retired now later that year 2k would go on to release the world series edition for mlb 2k5 during the MLB postseason. The World Series edition included more features like a MLB produced DVD that highlights some of the greatest World Series moments in MLB history. And there was a new game mode included called the World Series Championship Moments mode where you had the chance to relive the greatest World Series moments in MLB history or rewrite history. Similar to the Michael Jordan challenge back in NBA 2K11. For example, one of the challenges was 69 points. The challenge took you back to March the 28th in 1990 where the Chicago Bulls versed the Cleveland Cavaliers in the Richfield Coliseum and you had to score 69 points or more and shoot 50% or better from the field with Michael Jordan and win the game and then you would win the challenge if you completed these things. NBA 2K11 had a total of 10 Jordan challenges so you can see that MLB 2K was going in the right direction and the game was getting good ratings in its earlier days last decade but MLB 2K started to fall off not too long after this. Here's one reason why. 
2K would go on to release eight more games in the MLB 2K series after MLB 2K5. But the series was discontinued back in 2013. But here's the thing. In my opinion, 2K never marketed the MLB series as good as they did with the NBA 2K series. And that's why, to me, the MLB 2K series flopped. I mean, yeah, they had commercials and the games were also mentioned on social media, but that still wasn't enough. Here's an example. Back in 2008, sometime during June, 2K Sports would partner with Tencent to release an online version of NBA 2K. So the fans in China had the opportunity to play the video game. From that time on, NBA 2K has spread throughout other markets in other Asian countries. 2K even released another online version titled NBA 2K Online earlier this year for the Asian markets again. So this goes to show that 2K marketed the NBA NBA 2K series better than the MLB 2K series because they gave more effort for the NBA 2K series and this is one of the reasons why the NBA 2K series was always more successful than the MLB 2K series. This was a smart move from 2K because even the NBA partnered with Tencent and now the NBA has become the most popular sports league to watch in China. So this gives what I'm saying more validity. After the release of MLB 2K 13, 2K released a spin-off game called Pro Baseball 2K in South Korea back in May 2013. It was a flop. They should have tried doing something like this earlier on for MLB 2K, but at this time, it was too late. Number two, customer engagement. Yes, this is a form of marketing, but there's a reason why I never had it as number one, and I decided to isolate it and make it number two. But another thing that 2K did better for the NBA 2K series that they didn't do for the MLB 2K series is have customer engagement. If you don't know what customer engagement is, here's the definition. Customer engagement is a business communication connection between an external stakeholder, which would be a consumer, for example, and an organization, a company or brand, for an example, through various channels of correspondence, for example. This can be a reaction, interaction, effect, which is overall customer experience. And this is exactly what 2K did with the NBA 2K series. They allowed us to interact with them because back in 2009, 2K allowed us to actually choose the cover for NBA 2K10 on 2K sports.com so nba 2k fans had the choice to vote for four different covers of their choice one choice was to vote for where kobe leaped and leaned to make a pass on the cover as you can see and the other choice was to choose for kobe driving to the basket and the third choice was to choose kobe tugging on the la lakers jersey symbolizing him accomplishing something on the court or fourth him tugging on the new york knicks jersey instead of the lakers jersey but in the end the one where he was tugging on the la lakers jersey would win by votes and that became the official cover for nba 2k 10 fans never got the chance to do this with mlb 2k at all and this is another reason why i think the mlb 2k series wasn't as successful as the nba 2k series because there wasn't much interaction with the mlb 2k fans like there is with the nba 2k fans and customer engagement is very important because it doesn't matter what you're selling or doing when you have interaction with your fan base it makes them comfortable with you which is a smart marketing strategy and it will result in your product selling really good because the customer's experience with you is great and at the end of the day it all comes down to being about the fans who are in business terms known as consumers number three the games overall 2k was innovative with mlb 2k in the beginning by putting new modes in the series like i explained in number one until later in the series the game became stagnant because nothing really changed or nothing new was happening. There was no improvement with features, gameplay, or graphics, and fans really felt this way. For example, the last game in the series, which was MLB 2K13 before the series discontinued, this is what fans had to say, as you can see on the screen, about the game. But the biggest blow to the game was the removal of league play. On the other hand, NBA 2K is opposite. There's always improvement in the series. For example, the game gets better graphically each and every year, and the gameplay improves. Plus, 
2K makes it a priority to add new things. For example, if you look back to NBA 2K11, we got the Jordan challenge where we had the chance to relive some of the greatest moments in Michael Jordan's career. And we had the chance to play 10 different challenges where you could go back in time and play in the 80s and the 90s. And in NBA 2K12, 2K took it up a notch. There was a NBA's greatest moments mode where you can go back in time and play with 15 NBA greats like Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Julius Irving, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Bill Russell, Oscar Robertson, Jerry West, Wilt Chamberlain, Isaiah Thomas, Hakeem Olajuwon, Patrick Ewing, Scottie Pippen, John Stockton, and Karl Malone. In one of the modes, you can actually play in black and white when you play with Bill Russell because it took place in the 60s when the Celtics were facing the Lakers, which was cool. This is also one of the reasons why I think that the NBA 2K series was always more successful than the MLB 2K series because of the constant improvement in the NBA 2K series at that point in time. Number 4, 2K's competition. I don't know how old you are if you are watching this, but if you are in your 20s, you know that back in the day, NBA Live used to be the best basketball game out on the market and the most popular as well. It was what 2K is today in terms of popularity in the early 2000s. It was just fun. You had the chance to participate in the All-Star Weekend, the dunk contest, the three-point shootout, the rookie versus sophomore game and the actual all-star game plus the gameplay was good and during those times the graphics were great there was just so much fun stuff to do in the game there's just too much things to name but man it's just so nostalgic i miss those days honestly when i think about it nba live used to sell millions but not anymore as you can see nba live fell off after nba live 08 and this is where NBA 2K comes in. They literally killed their competition. 2K took over right when they dropped NBA 2K9 back in 2008 because the game was just more realistic and it had better graphics and it had just so much more new things to offer. 2K crushed its competitor EA in terms of basketball games. Remember this? Andrew Bynum standing at the half court line like Jesus glitch? Yeah, that was hilarious. That goes to show how bad NBA Live got at one point. NBA Live got so bad at one point to where EA actually canceled making the game for two years in a row, back in 2011 and in 2012. And the series never returned until 2013 with NBA Live 14. And up till the release of NBA Live 19, which just recently released, along with NBA 2K19, they still can't compete with 2K. And it hurts me to say this because I grew up playing NBA NBA Live, but I don't think they will ever be able to compete with 2K. And since NBA Live 14, the sales aren't that good. No matter what you have to say about NBA 2K, the game is still crushing it on all levels, especially in sales. Now it's the complete opposite when it comes to MLB 2K. MLB 2K's biggest competition was always MLB The Show, and most baseball fans will agree that MLB The Show was always better than MLB 2K. And Sony Computer Entertainment, who are the publishers for the game, Game, just crushed 2k in terms of baseball games mlb the show made an appearance on february the 28th back in 2006 with mlb 06 the show and it's still in existence today the latest game that's out is mlb the show 18 here's what sony computer entertainment did better than 2k when it came to baseball games they marketed it better Fans actually got the chance to choose who the cover athlete for MLB 13 the show. That's something 2K didn't do with MLB 2K, allow the fans to choose any cover athlete for the game. There was better customer engagement with Sony than with 2K. MLB the show has better graphics and gameplay and more features, and Sony was more innovative throughout the baseball video game series than 2K was. MLB 2K was so bad that there's no sales documented for the game. I literally searched every everywhere on the internet and I can't find the sales for MLB 2K anywhere. With MLB The Show, you can. And these are the sales over the years for MLB The Show. MLB The Show is a PlayStation exclusive. It's not available for any other consoles, which makes MLB 2K look even worse because a game that's available for more consoles should sell more than a game that's an exclusive. I don't know if the sales for MLB 2K are hidden by 2K because it was that bad or it's just not documented for 
for whatever reason. So this is another reason why MLB 2K wasn't as successful as NBA 2K because 2K crushed its competitor, which is EA, that makes NBA Live. But 2K didn't crush its competitor, Sony Computer Entertainment, who's affiliated with MLB The Show. But these are the reasons why MLB 2K was never as successful as NBA 2K in my opinion. But that's it for the video guys and like I always say, please like and subscribe and hit that notification button and comment below. Tell me what you think, your opinion matters and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram account. It's the same name as my YouTube channel name and share this video. Peace. I eat my French toast bag of French girl tell her let's go. Watch me explode like I'm Mentos mixed with that coke. Moving like a groupie, so I back up pronto. Though you a baddie, I'm gonna split my Uber, go get you a taxi.